Welcome to the Future Chicken Today Show! I'm Secretary, coming at you from the future. Carbon neutral 2050 to be exact. With our host, Potato the Chicken and Frichado the Egg. <clears throat> and I, Rocket Pants, Sentient Pants with Rockets. Hello! Great to see ya. On today's show, our pal Circuitry is gonna time twist us to the 2020s to meet a planet protector who helped build a better future. Catherine Hayho! Catherine's a climate scientist and studies our amazing planet. And she's gonna talk about how we're all connected. Whew. And ways we can stabilize global weirding. Stand back. I can stabilize it with my neutralizer. Hold your boosters, Rocky, old buddy. We can all pitch in. Is it me? Or is the planet getting hotter than hot? Like yesterday was freezing and I shivered a lot. This roller coaster weather, it's affecting us all. It's weird enough our world's gotta put out the call. Let's work together to reduce this weirdo weather. We can make it better, you and me. Cause the planet needs a positive, positive, positivity. Positivity. That computes, but what's global weirding got to do with me? Everything's connected, every living thing. Plants, insects, humans, flying pants. Incredible! So our actions matter because they affect everything we're connected to. Speaking of weird weather, your gizzard's starting to sweat, as mine are. I feel great, Potato. We eggs love the heat. We could bark all day about the weather. <laughs> oh boy, how about trees a crowd? But I have a lot to share with Catherine Hayo, like how I am connected to everything. The Earth? Mushrooms, bugs, mm, bugs, elephants, clown shoes, clown shoes, blender, blender, Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer. Daisy, who's Daisy? I'm <laughs> What's up with circuitry? Commencing scan. <laughs> God, Zooks, it appears that circuitry is overheating. Ah! Overheating? But how is that possible? The bio barn is climate controlled, so we stay comfy every day. Oh, uh, about that? Uh, I may have... There's only one way to find out why the temperature is rising. Time twist climate scientist Catherine Hayhoe to the future? I was gonna say squawk a doodle it but that works too. Golly, Catherine Plato! Uh, you mean Hayhoe. Attached to it, twister, portal, opening in three, two, six. Hi, Catherine. Hello. This is the first time that I have talked to a chicken on Zoom. That is the first thing that everybody says when they meet me. <laughs> I'm sure lots of our friends are wondering, what is an atmospheric scientist? An atmospheric scientist is someone who studies the atmosphere. So we study everything from the ground up to the top. Wow. What exactly is happening with the climate on our planet? It feels sometimes like someone's playing with the thermostat. It'll be really cold one day and then, oh, super hot the next day. Well, I know people often call it global warming, but you know what I call it? Global weirding. Oh, things are just getting weirder. We see crazy dry and then wet, crazy hot and then cold. We see wildfires and storms. Wherever we live, the weather is getting weirder, and we scientists know why. Huh? Mm -hmm. It's us. <gasps> uh oh. How can the things that I do at home help everyone on the planet? Well, we often think, you know, I'm just one person, so what difference do my actions make? But what we don't realize is what we do is contagious. So when we reduce our food waste, or when we stop using plastics, when we walk or bike to school instead of driving, we can all do these things together. And here's the secret. When we do them and when we talk about them with other people, that's how we catalyze change. 
Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Some of the most positive things that I get most excited about are what kids are doing. Whether it's kids who are winning science fairs, there's kids who are helping their schools cut their heat trapping gas emissions. There's kids who are working with their neighborhoods or in the organizations they're part of. Kids are everywhere making a huge difference. No way. Oh, wow, well, that gives me so much hope. And so is life on Earth all connected? We are all connected to each other. And in fact, if you think about it, where does our oxygen come from? Where does our water come from? Where does our food come from? All of that comes from things that we make here on planet Earth. So we all depend on each other. I love my coop that I live in. It's my home sweet home. But if I'm connected to the planet, then is that my home too? That's exactly the way I think about it. I live in a house with other people. In the same way we share this home, I share it with eight billion other humans. You share it with all of us humans and a lot of other chickens. And we all share it with all of the plants and animals and all of the other living things. Wow. So if I care about you and I care about the people I live with, I should also care about our home, the planet. Oh yeah, you never know what's gonna happen, but what you can do is you can just do your best. And if all of us are doing our best, I'm absolutely convinced we can change the world. Whoa, that was awesome. By connecting and sharing to inspire each other, we were able to reduce our carbon footprint and slow down climate change here in the future. Whoa, <gasps> Frittata, are you even listening? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, I'm all ears. Although, uh, technically, eggs don't have ears. <laughs> Warning, my super sensors detect a case of ants in pants. Uh, Frittata, what's wrong? I'm the reason circuitry overheated. It is okay, let it all out, except for your yolk. That would not be good. Well, you know how eggs love to be warm. Yeah, but what does that have to do with circuitry overheating? Well, a few days ago, my solar power sauna broke. Good thing, steam rusts my rivets. So I cranked up the heat in the bio barn. I think that's why circuitry overheated. Oh, well, thanks for being honest, Frittata. That totally connects. How can I fix it? Step aside, my little friend. I come from a long line of engineers and can fix all things electronic. Uh, we're attached, remember? Whoa! To help circuitry cool down, I will need to pull out these circuit wires. Then I'll reinsert them upside down. Or is it inside out? Stop, stop, stop! Before we start yanking wires, let's see what our planet protectors are doing to help keep the Earth cool. Maybe they'll inspire us with ideas to help circuitry cool off. There's something to cluck about. The students at this school connected with other schools to make sure that everyone planted at least one tree. You've inspired so many people. <laughs> and chickens. We brought the word. Trees have been on this planet longer than anything. They're totally connected. Right on, potato. Trees are totally, totally toasters, toasters, toasters. Fantastic. Oh, I have an idea of how to help circuitry. How do trees cool off? From the wind. So ta and da. Warning, warning. I think I'm going to be sick. Wow. Uh, so refreshing. Uh, Overload. Uh. <laughs> oh, Frittata, you came up with a natural solution. I taught them well. B -b 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 Beach, birch, elm, willow. Oh, circuitry, you're back. Woo! Things feel much cooler now. I was never good at handling the heat. Why, I was a complete wreck during Earth's molten lava days. That was on me, Circuitry. Sorry, I promise to never overheat the bio barn again. Well, we all make mistakes. What's important is what you learned from it. Now, where were we? Oh, yes, oh, trees. <laughs> Did you know that trees communicate to each other through their roots? Astonishing how everything is connected. Yes, and Frittata and I are happy to be connected to you. Oh! Now, how about we connect back with our amazing guest climate scientist, Catherine Hayhoe, for a fun game of Word Association! It's game time! Here's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna say a word, and then you're gonna say the first thing that comes to your mind. That sounds good, let's do it. Nature. Green. Trees. Leaves. Clouds. Sky. The sun. Bright. The ocean. Waves. The weather. Changeable. The planet. Home. Chickens. You. <laughs> and potatoes. Delicious.
delicious. I agree. <laughs> Thank you so much, Catherine Hayo. It's been great squawking with you. Likewise, I love talking to chickens. <laughs> and I love that we all share this home together. Doesn't matter if we're a chicken or a human or an animal or a plant. We all care about this home that we live on and we are all in it for a better future. I feel more connected to the world than ever before. Me too. Check out these eco-friendly blankets I'll use to keep me warm until I get my solar sauna fixed. So no more cranking up the heat? Nope. Ooh. Make way for the super genius engineer. I can fix that sauna in no time. According to my connections, Rocket Pants does not come from a long line of electronic engineers. Aha, a short line of engineers. Actually, it's a direct line to electric can openers. <laughs> Amazing, such a useful tool. Thanks for joining us in the future. And remember, keep it positive, planet positive.